Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome uh, to our attendees in person and online. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge with respect the Onondaga Nation, fire keepers of the Haudenosaunee, the indigenous people on whose ancestral lands Syracuse University now stands. My name is Brad Horn. I have the great honor of serving as an Associate Dean for Strategic Initiatives here at the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications. I'm also a professor in the Public Relations Department. And so you may be wondering, what in the world is a PR guy doing introducing a summit on mobile journalism? Well, I can tell you my roots began as a young reporter in Dallas-Fort Worth, where I was on the sports desk of the Dallas Morning News it was only my love of baseball and the opportunity to work in organizational communications that pulled me away from my journalism dreams. But now here in my role at the Newhouse School, I get to live them every day, being surrounded by the talented students, faculty, and staff who represent this great institution to train our next generation of journalists. I'm here today because this is a wonderful opportunity for the Newhouse School to welcome and bring together industry leaders, students, faculty, and practitioners who are looking to solve the biggest challenges in journalism facing our industry and our society today. We had this opportunity to welcome this event thanks to our own Dan Pacheco, our Horvitz Endowed Chair in Innovation Journalism, who is uh, a big contributor to today's events and program when he brought together two very special people who have played an incredible role in this conference's history, Brant Houston and Gary Kebel, who you will hear from momentarily. This conference is now in its 10th year, and we're honored that this is the first time it's traveled outside the Midwest. Here at Syracuse, we are excited for an afternoon and all-day program tomorrow to bring together all of these great voices leaders and perspectives in this format. For our students who are participating today, thank you. All of the industry leaders that you're going to hear from today are here because they want to interact with you. They want to learn from you. They want to discuss with you. Please feel free to come down after their programs, to take the times at the breaks to get to know them. Uh, this is part of what we want to uh, instill and foster. We also have this weekend, and, and spread the word, students among your friends, uh, the Journalist Association of New York, Janney, and here, Randy Gordman representing Janney. Uh, he and his team will conduct resume and real reviews uh, tomorrow throughout the day in Newhouse One, Room 101. So we're at the beginning of what would be a very important and very impactful day and a half of presentations, perspectives, and new tools to integrate into mobile journalism. We are so thankful all of you have chosen time, to, uh, your time to spend with us here in person and online. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce your conference hosts, Brant Houston and Gary Kebel. Thank you. We're so glad you're here because in particular, as far as we know, uh, this is the only conference wh where the entire focus is on mobile media. And it's on uh, how not only how you access information, uh, but the type of information you get always through your mobile device. It's not we don't just talk about gathering; we talk about receiving. And in that aspect, we talk about apps and and new platforms and anything that uh, enables your mobile device to bring you more information in new ways. So. We're really pleased to have been doing this for years. We hope that what you hear today is, is information that hasn't quite yet made it into your curriculum or hasn't quite yet made it to your newsrooms. It's a cutting edge for you to think about, and, and that's our purpose. If we can uh, introduce you to some of these uh, new techniques and uh, show you some best practices from experts at the top of their game, then we've uh, served our purpose. So... I just want to go ahead and thank all the people who played a role in this. Uh, thanks very much, Brad, for the introduction. Uh, Dan for Dan Pacheco for pulling this together. Uh, Janny for being a part of it. Um, this for me is the most exciting conference this year. 
uh, because I always learn lots of things myself. Um, I spent the last 10 years holding up my mobile phone at faculty meetings saying, this is where it's at. We all know it. We need to admit it. We start here. Uh, that's where a lot of the stories finish. And uh, we have a great group of speakers to tell you how to do this more effectively and, uh, and also to enjoy learning from you. I also want to uh, have a special shout out for Dylan Tiger, who's not here, but has been working on the website for this while trying to edit about 30 student stories in two days. So Dylan, wherever you are out there, thank you. Um, any others that we need to do? Uh, Let's talk about the foundation. Oh, yeah. Well, and also, uh, I did you uh, mention Brad, too? And, and, yes, I did. And, and, yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Um, and, uh, Knight Foundation first uh, funded this conference way back when and has been a, a consistent funder of it ever since. We uh, certainly appreciate their help, but also uh, other journalism associations. Yeah, there's um, an institute we're trying to revive called the Mid-America uh, Press Institute, and it still has funds and it's helping with this. Uh, hopefully we can get some new curriculum to attract some more newsrooms. Um, two night chairs, my night chair at the University of Illinois and the one at Northwestern also have played a big role in this. And so I'd like to thank uh, Jeremy Gilbert, who's the current uh, chair at Northwestern. And did uh, I forget anybody else in that? No. Mid-America? Yeah, 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 yeah. So thanks. And thanks to everybody for coming this afternoon. We always start on Fridays, it seems. And going to Saturdays, it's a tough competition. But as far as I know, there's not any football right now. So yeah, we love the, we love the bye week. <laughs> yeah.